I've created a list of the seven best teams with interesting stories that you need to manage in Football Manager 2024. We'll start off with Scunthorpe United, who were a championship club back in 2011, but last season got relegated into the National League North. Just a few weeks ago, it looked like the club wouldn't survive the season, as the owners withdrew all funding from the club leading to the fans raising £50,000 to pay the players and staff wages. As part of having the funding withdrawn, the club weren't able to use their stadium as it's still owned by their previous owners, so they couldn't pay the rent. Scunthorpe put out a statement saying they play their matches at Gainsborough Trinity Stadium instead, to which Gainsborough said that was the first they'd heard of it and it would not be happening. Fortunately, the club have since been taken over by new owners and fingers crossed they've got a secure future ahead of them. But the club are way below where they should be, so it's up to you you to rebuild them. Your best player is Connor Smith, on loan from Hearts until January. But there are three young players in the squad with League 2 potential ability you could look to build around for the next few seasons. Harrison Porter has good enough attributes to get goals at this level, Finlay Shrimpton has all the makings of a decent box-to-box -box midfielder, and Kean Scales can offer some balance alongside him as a ball-winning midfielder. Your challenge is to build a team around these three young players to get you back into the Football League. Once they've served their purpose, you can try and move them on for a bit of cash to raise some funds to get Scunthorpe back to the championship. From there, you've got to launch an assault on the Premier League, where eventually you go on to win the title. This might take a long time, and some people might want a slightly shorter save. So let me introduce you to St Etienne. The club have won 10 league untitles, have claimed six Coupe de France's, and were in the Europa League as recently as the 2019-20 season. Currently, they're in their second season in Ligue 2, France's second division. After labouring to an eighth place finish last season, the fans will be hoping that this time around they can get back to the big time. You've got some league uncapable players in the first team, including 26-year-old goalkeeper Gautier and 31-year-old ball winning midfielder Florian Tardieu. There's also a plethora of youngsters with high potential. Develop them well and you may just have a production line of homegrown players who can take you back to the top of League 1. In game, St Etienne are predicted to finish in second place behind Bordeaux who got relegated in the same season as them. As a result, your challenge is to beat Bordeaux in the first season to get back into League 1. Hopefully, you'll be able to build the squad around some of the young players coming through your team and go on to claim the club's 11th League 1 title. Also by now, I'm sure you're all thinking, Tom, what shirt are you wearing? This is Hanoi FC. They are the six-time champions of Vietnam, although lost out on the title last season by goal difference to Hanoi Police. However, Hanoi FC still finished in second place and they progressed to reach the AFC Champions League group stage for the first time, meaning that if they get through their group, they have a chance to play against Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser. Although the first few games haven't quite gone to plan for Hanoi FC. Now you will have to wait a few weeks for a custom Vietnamese database to come out because Vietnam aren't a playable league in the base game of Football Manager. But there is a reason that I've picked them and it's because we can actually help them out. I got hold of their kits from today's sponsor, Sam and Garlo, who partner up with lesser known clubs from around the world and make their kits available in markets the clubs wouldn't ordinarily be able to reach by themselves. As a result, us kit collectors get some amazing kits from around the world and we can help the clubs that Sangalo partner with secure additional revenue streams. Meaning that if enough of us buy Hanoi FC shirts, they might just have enough money to buy Cristiano Ronaldo from Al Nasser. M maybe. Sangala have a bunch of cool shirts from around the world, so go and check them out. There'll be a link in the top line of the description. And of course, the challenge with Hanoi FC is to get them back on top of Vietnamese football and then go on to do the impossible, become the first Vietnamese club to win the AFC Champions League. Next up, we're heading to a team with one of the most impressive transfer windows from the past summer. Galatasaray. The Turkish giant spent big on Mora Wakadi, Davidson Sanchez and Wilfred Zahar, as well as bringing in Hakim Ziyech, Angelino and Tangay and Dombele in on loan. Last season they won their first title since 2019 and are clearly looking to go back to back and cause a stir in this season's Champions League. Turkey as a nation have also fallen down UEFA's coefficient rankings in recent seasons, meaning they get less teams into European football. Galatasaray are the only team in the Champions League this season. So it's your job as Galatasaray manager to lead the charge. Do well in Europe to earn more coefficient points to then get more teams into Europe. 
From there, your challenge is to overtake the Premier League as the most reputable league in all of Europe and have Turkish clubs go on to win plenty of European competitions. So from one Champions League team to another, we're traveling to Union Berlin. The club were promoted to the Bundesliga for the first time in 2019. And then in 2021, they finished in seventh place to qualify for the Europa Conference League. The following season, in 2022, they finished fifth to make the Europa League. And then last season, they finished in fourth place to reach the Champions League group stage. Union Berlin's rise has been remarkable. So much so, if one of my friends told me they'd done that in Foot Manager, I wouldn't believe them. However, despite the team's rise and success, I'm not convinced by the squad. In summer, they brought in Robin Gersons from Atalanta, Kevin Volland from Monaco, and Lucas Toussart from City rivals Hertha Berlin, as well as Leonardo Bonucci on a free from Juventus. A lot of their core squad are approaching 30 years old, and there aren't any real youth prospects making their way through. So the real challenge is keeping that success going, especially as they've had a really poor start to the new season. So although the team are on the up, I genuinely feel that Union Berlin do need a bit of a rebuild to reach the next level. Obviously, they're in the Champions League this season, so that Champions League money is going to massively help with any rebuild you are going to do. But there's a lot more that meets the eye with this challenge. In 2013, Malaga were seconds away from reaching the Champions League semi-final, until Dortmund scored an offside goal to send them crashing out. Ten years later, they're fighting for promotion from Spain's third division. What happened? Well, in 2010, the club were bought by Qatari Sheikh Abdullah Al Tahani, who used his wealth to bring in manager Manuel Pellegrini and players like Ruud van Nistelrooy and Santi Cazorla, allowing the club to rise at the table and qualify for Europe. Al Tahani also had plans to build a 400 million euro marina down the road in Marbella, except, reportedly, he couldn't afford it. This led him to fall out with business partners who were also co-owners of Malaga. As a result, plenty of disputes ended up in court, which ruled against Al Tahani, leading him to essentially hold Malaga to ransom and refuse to make any significant investments. As a result, the club fell backwards and were relegated to La Liga 2 in 2018. Things didn't improve in the second division where a mixture of mismanagement from Al Tahani, poor appointments of managers and some abysmal signings led to a second relegation last season. In FM24, you will not have the luxury of having an unlimited bank account when it comes to getting back to La Liga. The side is largely the same as it was last season. In fact, fans were so fed up of making no signings that they went to the airport and went up to random people pretending that they were new signings made by the club. But you should be able to get back to Spain's top division with a very good young core at the team. 21-year-old striker Roberto Fernandez will lead your attack. And you can partner him up with 20-year-old Lauren Zuniga or opt for a one-striker formation and rotate the two of them around. You can support them with 21-year-old wingers Haitam Abada and David Larubia, and hopefully keep clean sheets with 18-year-old goalkeeper Carlos Lopez. All of them should have potential ability to play in La Liga. Your challenge is to get back to La Liga, but seeing as Al Tahani is holding the club to ransom and you won't have much transfer budget, the challenge here is to do it entirely with youth prospects. Want to get back to La Liga, you have to get back into the Champions League and get revenge on Dortmund for knocking them out of the Champions League. Now, the next club is a little bit biased because I am a Lincoln City fan, but they have some big news. On the 18th of October, they sacked their manager, Mark Kennedy. The rumours going around the fan base right now is that apparently there was quite a toxic atmosphere in the dressing room and the manager was the issue, which is why they've gotten rid of him. Although I'm a Lincoln fan, Lincoln squad this season is actually objectively really, really good. You will have some issues with a few injuries, notably Ben House and Lewis Monsma are both out for an entire year, but the squad itself is very young and there are some players in there with some decent potential. Danny Mandroyu being a young Irish attacking midfielder and even younger than him is Ethan Arahan. The Scottish midfielder could go all the way to the Premier League in my opinion. The challenge here is to do me proud. They're my team, I love them to pieces and I would love to see as many of you guys as possible take Lincoln City from League One to Champions League glory. Let me know if you're going to take on any of these challenges down in the comments section and keep me updated on Twitter. You can follow me over there at TomFM underscore
YT. There's also a handy link down in the description where there's also a link to buy FM24 from Fanatical with my affiliate code. Right now you can still get the game cheap during early access for just £35 and start playing immediately. So whilst you wait for FM24 to download, you can watch me attempt the hardest challenge during FM24's early access, trying to have a successful transfer window in season with Manchester United. 